So I told you the first half of what happened um, <clears throat> when I got the concussion on the trampoline and how I got hit with the wooden cane. So anyways, now is the next part I guess I should tell you is what happened after I started feeling better. So us greens, we know how to hold our grudges. So I waited and I waited and I waited and then like now it's like almost like two weeks after I started feeling better about two weeks later it's my time to strike right so go into Jennifer's room and I trash her stuff which was kind of hard to tell because her room was always garbage anyways there was always mounds of clothes and it's horrible that's why I I went and share a room with her. <clears throat> but anyway. So I go into Charlie's room. And the first thing I do is I see right on his little shelf. He had just bought the Wild Wild West on VHS. <clears throat> so I grab it. And I just. I open up the little flap. And I just start yanking on the tape. And I'm pulling it out. And I'm pulling and I'm pulling. I'm destroying it. I f throw it down. Go to walk out. See his beanbag chair. Right. So I kicked the beanbag chair that was there. He had the South Carolina Gamecocks beanbag chair. So I kick it. My foot goes straight through it, straight into it. All of a sudden, I pull my thumb. Beads, thousands upon thousands, just start spewing everywhere. I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm going to be in so much trouble. So now I start to panic, thinking, oh my god, like... How am I going to, like, cover this? Like, that was not my intention. I was not planning on breaking that. Like, the VHS, like, I can hide that shit. Beanbag, different story. So I started to panic. And I, I looked at the VHS. I'm like, oh, shit, what did I do? So I grab it, and I start rolling it up around the tape. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like oh, my God, seriously, what am I going to do? Like, this stuff is everywhere. So I start picking it up by the handfuls, and I'm shoving it back in the hole that I had just kicked in this thing. Thinking, oh, damn, like... <laughs> This is seriously bad. Like, this is bad. This is not going to end good. I'm thinking Charles is seriously going to kill me. So I start, you know, scooping. I'm like vacuuming and I'm trying to get it all cleaned up. So then I, I get what I could and I dumped it back into the chair. It had like dust and stuff and carpet fibers, whatever that we vacuumed ended up in his beanbag chair. So then, and luckily enough, the part that I had like kicked open was in like a black section. So I'm looking around and I find dad's electrical tape. So I go in and I'm like doing my doctor work, right? Like I'm trying to repair it. I'm like holding the hole like pinched and I'm like putting the tape over. And it actually didn't look too bad. I mean, you could, if, if you look at it, you could tell. But I figured I can position it good enough, right? Like I can get it in there. He'll never know the difference. So I go in and I kind of set it up a certain way and I kind of smoosh it in a little bit before it looked like he had been sitting in it or something. So I get it all positioned, whatever, and I run. I take off. Like, I don't want any more evidence of me being in there. Like, I'm getting the hell out of there. So I go into my room. Whatever. Like, hour later, Charlie comes home. He had been hanging out with his friends. He comes home. He goes in. First thing he does, I'm thinking, oh, God, please go get dinner. Please go get dinner, right? No. He goes and turns on his uh, game system. So he goes in turns it on he grabs the remote and he goes he plops down in the chair and all of a sudden the fucking patch i had done with the tape just blows off beads go flying everywhere and charlie's what the fuck who did this which one of you did this and he jumps up and he just starts coming in and he's huffing and he's puffing and he's like He's, I'm seriously like, I'm like hiding, I'm trying to keep quiet, I'm like, he's seriously going to kill me if he finds out it's me. So he comes in, he busts open my door, he's like, was it you? Was it you? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Like, I'm doing my homework, right? I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, Jennifer was talking about you earlier. I'm like, she was kind of pissed off at you about something. I'm like, maybe she knows? So I hear Charlie goes in there and he goes, why'd you pop my beanbag? And Jennifer's I did it. And all of a sudden they're fighting back and forth and they're screaming. And I look at Michael and Michael's like, I know you popped the beanbag. He goes, I saw you cleaning it up. I'm like, yo, please dude, don't tell, don't tell. I'm like, I will give you anything you want. Michael was like, anything? I'm like, yes, anything. Like, I swear to God, like, please don't tell. I will do anything you want. I will say whatever you want. So Michael's like, all right. He goes, you have to be my slave for a week. 
really? Like, really? And unfortunately, my mind at the time said it was easier to be Michael's slave for a week than it was to get completely killed and clobbered by Charlie, so I agreed to it. So, for that week, that's exactly what I did. And, you know, he made me do everything. I think, like, now that I look back on it, I think that if I had known that's what all it was going to, like, entail, I probably would have just gotten my ass beat by Charlie and gotten it over with. But, yeah, no, it was pretty awful. Yo, this kid, he had me making all of his plates of food, whatever, like, whenever, dinner time, lunch, whatever. Like, I had to get it all for him. I had to get, like, his bathtub, like, his shower going for him. Had to get it at, like, the perfect, perfect temperature. Had to get, like everything this dude wanted like i had to get all of his wrestler set up if he wanted to go play like outside or something like i had to take all of his stuff i remember setting it up in like this little pine straw patch that we had cut out and we were actually playing house in it like before like that was my house like i would take a rake and i would rake up all the pine straw so it was just like the dirt on the ground and I would basically just rake it into like a box and put other rooms through pine straw so it was like doorways to walk in. I know, pretty retarded, right? But <clears throat> when you really didn't have anything else, you kind of get creative and make up your own shit. But yeah, so I remember having to go out there one time. Michael was going to play out in like the pine straw area. So I had to go out there and set it all up and get it all looking good, whatever. It was obnoxious. But he did end up telling Charlie like, a few months or so later but at that point it was kind of irrelevant we had other things going on so i mean he was still pissed at me but yeah so i ended up being michael's slave for a week and it was so he wouldn't rat on me so yeah that's the aftermath of that what happened after uh how i kind of got my revenge after the fact so hope you guys liked it if you did like subscribe if you didn't like subscribe and i'll see you guys later Okay, so it's kind of late. I'm sitting here with my little fancy pants, and we're, I just got done painting her fingernails, which she wants to show you. Go ahead. Oh, back. You pretty? Yeah. So now she wants to paint my toenails, so I'm going to let her, but she was just getting ready to tell me something, and as she started to say it, I'm like, hold on a minute, I need to get this, so... As you were saying, when you grow up... I want to be a painter artist for toenails and fingernails. So you want to paint other people's fingernails and toenails for yeah. a living? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What colors do you want to paint them? Blue and paint all the colors. All the colors? Yeah. Each toe a different color? Yeah. Wow, that'd be pretty crazy, huh? Like a rainbow? Do you like rainbows? Yeah. What's Come your favorite on. color in a rainbow? Blue. Blue. Red. <laughs> I mean, yellow and purple. But if you could only pick one color, what would you say is your favorite color out of all of them? Hmm. Blue and purple. Blue and purple? Yep. But, okay, so between blue and purple, if you could only choose one, which one would you choose? No, you can only choose one. Why? Because. Say there can only be one color left in the whole world. The whole world has to be painted this one certain color. Mm -hmm. What color should it be? Blue. Blue? Yeah. Why blue? Because I like blue. Yeah? Okay. Alright, you're on, Captain. Well, I'm going to paint Mommy's toenails. And I'm sitting here with my little toenail, <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> I'm going to paint her fingernails. I mean, toenails and fingernails. Goodbye. That's the story you wanted to tell them? Yeah. Go ahead. One day I'm going to be an artist. What do you want to do as an artist? Hmm. Artist. A paint artist? Yeah. All right. What kind of things would you paint? Hmm. What kind of pictures would you paint? Lots of pictures. Lots of pictures? Like what, though? Rainbows. Sit back. I can't see you. Rainbows, ponds, houses, TVs, and banners, and fishes, and lots of stuff. 
Okay, well, all of the stuff you just named is in my house. A TV, a banner, fishies. That's all in our house right now. So the only thing we don't have is a pond, unless you want to consider our aquarium a pond. Yes, and I do still have a reindeer doormat. Whatever. Yes, I'm full aware Bye. that it's June, but it's almost July, so Christmas in July. See, we're prepared. Anyways, okay, so good night. Good night. Mommy, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, well, I already am grown. <laughs> but when I grew up, I became exactly what I wanted to be. A mommy. <laughs> I wanted to be a mommy when I grew up, and that's exactly what happened. I got you and Eliza and oh. Arthur and Sidewalk. Sidewalk number two, sidewalk number three, and sidewalk number four. Those sidewalks are our fish. For some reason, she named all of them sidewalk. It was sidewalk one through seven, but they have... What happened to them? What? What happened to the other fishies? Went to heaven. They went to heaven. Love you. Love you.